Okay, Bob, I have made this PowerPoint and I'm trying to record it for you so it'll help you with question one of LVO 3K, the written assessment for it. Okay, so these are obviously some bullet connectors. I've just shown you a picture just as an example. Um, let me move on to the next slide. Just not going to do. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Just another kind of bullet type connector. Um, and what the question is about is about voltage drop across a connector like this. Okay, so if you, uh, what I'll do, I'll just move on to the next slide because I'll put in a picture of a uh, multimeter. Okay, so we've still got our bullet connector here and we've got the multimeter. Now, it's on volts DC, but that really doesn't matter, but you would measure volts DC. I've got the wires in here, so I need you to imagine you've got your black wire going to this connection and your red wire going to the volts one, which I think is this one here, but anyway, it doesn't really matter for this. Okay, so you've got your two wires. Now, assuming that there's 12 volts, let's say it's coming from this end, and it's flowing to our, let's say we've got a light bulb at this end, and then from the light bulb it goes down and you have an earth connection. So there should be 12 volts pushing through this wire connection. Now theoretically, this connection should offer no resistance. You want a good, clean connection. So whatever voltage is available at this side should also be available at that side because there should be no resistance as it pushes through that clean connection. So when you connect your voltmeter, what you need to remember is that voltage is electrical pressure and the two wires that are coming out, the two probes, are effectively voltage sensors or pressure sensors and when you connect to obviously would slide the pin in under the plastic but when you touch this end of the connection uh, <clears throat> you would register a voltage on that side and when you take the other connection and connect it into this side so I want you to try and imagine you've got your two wires coming out of the multimeter one going connecting to this side of the connection the other one connecting to this side of the connection so they are two voltage sensors if you like one's measuring the voltage at this side one's measuring the voltage at that side now theoretically there should be no volt drop across this connection so whatever's on this side let's say it's 12 volts on this side there should be 12 volts on this side so what shows on the screen over here is the difference between whatever's on this side and whatever's on this side. So in a good connection, there should be no difference. 12 on this side, 12 on this side, 12, take away 12, or what's the difference between what's on this side and what's on this side? There should be zero difference. So in a good connection, this should say, as it does in this picture, zero. If, though, let's say there was some rust in here, or it was a poorly made connection, for whatever reason it corroded or was just um, loose, should we say, if I had 12 volts going on this side, and um, because of the rust and because of the poor connection, there was a resistance, so it was difficult for the electricity to get through this connection, then there would be less at this side, less would be able to get through, less pressure would be able to force its way through that resistance. So in those circumstances, when I connect my two wires up uh, from the multimeter, again, one on this side, and let's say there's 12 volts available on this side. And when I connect the other connection to this side, because of the resistance, 
it's dropped slightly. Let's say instead of having 12, um, it's dropped by two. So I've only got 10 volts available on this side. So 12 on this side, 10 on this side. Right. What's going to show on the screen over here is the difference between what's on this side and what's on this side. So 12 on this side, 10 on this side. 12 minus 10, the difference is 2. So what you'd have on this screen is 2 volts. So that first question asks what would be the cause of a volt drop across a connection? I think I've just given you the answer. I hope I have anyway. I'm going to stop the recording.